Okay, so this is part 3 of Digimon World 2003. Uh, I'm finally out of the, the city. Just uh, exploring the first area. And this is the first fight outside the city. The enemies here aren't really that tough, but they can do quite a bit of damage. Yeah. Before I can really do anything, I have to train them for a few levels. The first boss will require champion level Digimon, and they get them at uh, level 5. So I'll, in the meantime I'll be doing the uh, a side quest. Also, y usually I just train one Digimon so it's really strong and the other two fall behind but uh, for the purpose of this let's play I'll be trying to train them equally as possible. Yeah, there's an um, item over here. It's just another power charge. But as I've said before, they are useful at the start, so you should get it. <laughs> uh, I have to run from this battle. Uh, at the current level, my Digimon can't beat uh, Vegemon. Damn. Uh, enough uh, attack. <laughs> uh, so we bad if Digimon can't run. The uh, Vegemon, because we'll be able to. Uh, one hit kill both Gilman and Patamon since the HP and defense are low. I just hope I don't run into another one. Yeah, so uh, this is the start of the first side quest to get the tree boots. Involved with a uh, uh, card game side quest of a game. It's a bit annoying, but. Considering I can't do anything else and I'll end up fighting Digimon along the way, I may as well do the side quest. Just hope it's not another Vegemon. Ah, uh, it's okay. The Betamon, Betamon, uh, they're quite easy. Plus, uh, if you're lucky, they can drop uh, power charges, and that's always good. Good at the start of the game. Uh, 
and level up Cocoon Run first because his uh, MP starts off quite low so he can't really use his special attacks after. And since we do a lot more damage than regular attacks, uh, if, if I trained over two and he and Kumaman did fall behind, it'd be extremely difficult to uh, get him to catch up with the levels. Yeah, but uh, the card that I need to get uh, is in uh, Azuka City. Oh yeah, I'm switching for to Gale Man. Actually, the card that I need to find is hidden around where I got the 300 bits before in the inn. Yeah, uh, this is uh, the gym that I train the Digimon stats. Uh, you get the T TP training points uh, after each level up. If if you did one successful three times, it's a bonus try which will give you, I think, twice as many stat points. Back into Asuka City. Just cut out for walking back to save space on the video. I mean, save time. Another beat him on. Yeah, you'll see here about the special moves, like, uh, extremely strong. Well, at least to make training quicker. Oh yeah, and there's a way to uh, keep the Gabumon card you get since uh, it's useful for the starting folder. Since it's a pretty good rookie card. If you put it in your card folder and talk to the kid, he, he doesn't actually take the card off you. Yeah, you have to find Vimon and it's another trip back to Asuka City to activate the event. Uh, one more battle. I should have cut this part out. Oh, yeah, well, just... Oh, wait, I did. <laughs> I cut the bridge out. You need to talk to this uh, waitress to make uh, V-Mon appear. Uh, that's all for this episode, so I'll see you.